All right, quiet on the set. Three, two, two. All right. It's the Dave and, turn it around, Dave and Jonathan. Dave and Jonathan's garage. What we're Dave's doing now, garage, real bit. quick mod. We've already done the, which cleaned his chain, did the, uh, adjusted the chain, cleaned it, checked the fluids, did the oil change, filter change, topped it off, everything's good to go. Your break-in is done, sir. I'll send you a bill. Now we're gonna take off his passenger pegs. It sounds complicated because you gotta take the battery out. You really don't, I'll show you how to do it. Take the back cowl off. You do that with the key. There's one small Allen wrench that lets you take out the front seat. Here's what you gotta do, come on. Come on, boy. Get, okay. Get your ass in that pudding, boy. Yeah. All right, unhook the strap that holds the battery and just gently move it out the way. Just let it sit there and kind of balance right there. Okay, you don't want to pull a lot of stress on these wires, so don't try to move it any further. And then, you need a 12 millimeter. That's right, it's righty tighty. We need to go lefty loosey. Yep. Remember that, kids, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Get it started. One bolt. I may have to take off the extension because things are a little bit in the way. Come on. And voila. Slide it out. Boom. About two pounds. Holy moly. So just set that aside. Now we go to the other side and do the same. It is all you got to do, my friends. You ever seen that movie, uh, Male Gigolo? What? Uh, the Male Gigolo, uh, Rob Schneider, I think. Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. <laughs> Mil <laughs> what yes. the fuck did I say? <laughs> I don't know, you, uh, Male you Jello, I don't know, you said something Mel fucked up. Remember that, uh, that scene, like, that's a huge bitch. <laughs> Was with that giant woman on the bed. It's it's like, I think we had a mistake. Did you say steak? <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. All right. And this bolt. Eh. Jonathan, pull it out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not, that's what she. No, I don't even want. I don't even want to. I don't want to even volunteer on that one. All right, do that. Carefully lay that back in. Make sure everything's in the right place. There's no tension on any of the wires. Now, doesn't that just look beautiful? Oh, just, just look at that. I love this bike. So Wish you'd gotten the red one. Thank you for throwing that in my face because you know how bad I wanted the fucking chair. The I don't know when you'll be able apple. to actually get your hands on one, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And you would have paid thousands more. It's cooler, but it's not two or three thousand dollars more. Cooler. Nah, that the the speed triple, that orange one, that was. I'd rather have but that. But tell you what, Cameron, after seeing this, yeah, he's not really looking at the speed triple anymore. What? He's looking at this, a new really? one of these. He'll probably get a red one. Some <laughs> <Son of> mother. <laughs> but actually, no, he likes the gold, which is the one I would get. Ooh, gold. That's uh, that's pretty fancy. It looks tremendous. But why is he looking at this one if he rolled the speed triple? Didn't he have fun on that one? Yeah, but for five grand, you can't use all that power on the street. Up in the twisties, yeah, the way he rides yeah. on an open stretch of road, yeah, the speed's going to be tri quicker. But with no wind protection, it's yeah. not like it's on an R1 or yeah. that where you can go 180 in a tuck. That's true. You have nowhere. He's six feet tall. He has nowhere to hide from the wind or 6'1 or whatever. He can't hide from the wind and stuff. So at that point, that realistically, while you could go faster, that realistically is a 145-ish mile an hour bike. Anything over that is not fun. No. You can do it, but you're not going to want to do it. No. Not for very long. So if you're only going to go 145 anyway, lighter, just... five grand cheaper, same electronics package for the new model, has the IMU. It looks the same. It's a triple. You Cheaper insurance. That is if you can't use all that performance, that's why everyone's like going gaga over the Street Fighter. I would not buy a, street, a V4 Street Fighter. 
Nah, I'd rather get the V2. If I was going to get yeah. one, I'd get the V2. The V4, that's the, you, you are right about that. It's just too much power. What the hell are you yeah. going to do with all of it? You Nothing. can't really do anything with it. It's especially, for bragging. Uh, especially on a naked bike, man, because you it's got all for, that wind resistance. It's for bragging rights. It generates speed that you will never do and you don't want to do. So that's a waste. Why pay more? <sighs> just pretty much a bunch of people just showing how small their penis is. No, I mean, whatever. If you got the money, like Bill Digby's got one. You know Billy. He's got one. And it's he a, does? That's what he has. He has a V4 Street Fighter. Get out of here. No. I've been wow. watching his dog videos um, at the dog park. Oh, yeah. Like people, dogs getting into fights and people fighting. Yeah. Just like people watching there. And well, that's the reason character. why I stopped going there. I don't go there. I don't bring Bodie over there. The funny thing is he's got a, uh, his dog is named Bodie also. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not taking my dog. I don't. The problem with dog parks is that I don't know if other people's dogs. I know my dogs are pretty okay. But everybody else's dogs, they could be assholes. I have no idea. And if they do get into a fight, the pit bull is going to get the blame every time. They're Dude, go, why do you think I Meanwhile, it's going. like your border collie bit him, and so he kicked your dog's ass, and now I'm the jerk because I have the scary pit bull. And it's like my dogs are afraid more often than aggressive. They're chickens. You yeah. see her go to him, he's like, mm. Yeah, but that's what happened to me, man. When I was taking Bodie over to the park, man, some other people's dogs would be more aggressive on Bodie, and I was run over there and find out what's going on. And meanwhile, the dog owner was too scared to pull their own dog. I was like, if you're too scared to touch your own dog, like, what? Yeah. You shouldn't even have a dog. It's just you asking. Know? It's like you have animals that they're domesticated, but these are wild animals. And especially as you start getting up to pit bulls, yeah. even labs, they're big, heavy dogs with big jaws. You're talking yep. German shepherds. You have all these mini wolves running around that don't know each other in a confined space. And you're like, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. No, no. <laughs> no, not yeah, really. I, I, every time I brought him, I have to like follow him, make sure he was going to be okay. And it's, after a while, it just started becoming annoying. Look at that now. So here's what we've done so far. So we remove that. Look at that ass, though. Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> we got your tail tidy. Got your homemade tail tidy. We could probably come up with a better nut bolt solution than that, but whatever. Dude, that thing is on there like pretty solid. Oh, though. it ain't going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but the bolts there, I'm kind of like, well, they're shiny. Like, I wish it blended in a little better. If they were black, at least, like it would sort of blend in with that. I don't know. We'll work on that. But then we got your home. We got your blinker kit. I was about to say, dude. Turn this, that shit on. I was about to say, you can't even go wrong with that. Turn man. it on, Spanky. Yeah. Left blinker. Look at that. Dude, that is nice and bright, clean. They're just stuck up in there. There's some adhesive tape, and they're kind of wedged in there. But even from the side, you can see it. In bright sunlight, you can see them. Oh, yeah, the reflection, and at night, especially at nighttime. Oh, yeah, dude, and the it's silhouette. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's just perfect. They're just tucked up in there like they should be there. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice, man. <laughs> Same Kinnison. Look at Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that dude. He's a psychopath, but, man, he was funny. Yeah, so there we go. So we got your oil change done, filter, safety wired, clean the chain, adjusted the chain tension, tail tidy, blinkers. If you want to see that stuff, look at my old videos from 2020. I had the same bike in a different color when we did that mod. You can go see how that was done. Dude, you ready? Yep. Go forth and multiply or whatever it is you do. So now we got to get a jug and put your oil. I might have an empty jug over there. And then I'm going to have to put some stuff together. I'll try to go over tomorrow. Well, Friday. I got busy work day tomorrow. But Friday, I know I can get over there. Go dump some of that Earl. Well, if I got a light day, I can, can, come, I can come by here and pick it up and dump it out for you. I should just, oh, that's right. You're on your truck. I'd say, I'd just load up the back of your truck with all my. But well, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that. Well, what do you got, man? Because I'll come in my service van. Um, my service van is huge. Well, we're not going to make people watch us go looking for bottles of oil, but that's what we got. <laughs> so that's that's the mod. If you want to remove this, the, the passenger pegs, you know, on the Suzuki or the. The Panigale, the bolts are right there. This yep. has an extra step at what was that, a seven minute job, taking the seat sleeping. off, pulling the battery out. It's four bolts. And now it's all cleaned up. The only time you might ever want to put them back in your case is if you were going to go on a trip and you had a bag that you put your back seat on so it slides on. You need something to anchor it to. Ah. But it, you're going to take a trip, what, once a year? If we need to spend five, ten minutes putting that's, it on yeah, and then nothing. taking it off after the trip, it's not that's a big small. deal. Yeah. So keep those, keep the bolts, put them in a Ziploc baggie. Well, I have to come back for all of that because right. I came. I came here obviously on the bike. <laughs> Damn I it, didn't, Jonathan! I didn't bring a backpack. Uh, all right, uh, so we're still missing one more. Uh, well, oh, there it is. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> While you're down there. All right. So, um, yeah, that's what we got right now. 
So there you have it. That's all. I, I'm gonna. Oh, do you want to go grab some Mexican? You want to go get dinner? I'm down. Yeah, let's go. I'm all starving. Right. Let's go eat, and then we'll come back and publish this for everybody. We're gonna yeah. make you an internet star. <gasps> Later. <laughs>